Hey y'all, Boss Cooper, livingcooper.com. Today I got a Coop Simple review how-to, how-to review for you. You know, we're in the midst of doing a review on some phone cases. The Ghost Tech Atomic Slim 3 and the Nautical 2. And these are for our iPhone Pro Max 11, 11 Pro Maxes. And Nana's using the Atomic Slim 3. And Nana likes the case other than the fact that there's no screen protection and there's no protection for her camera lenses. And so she's always deathly afraid she's going to scratch her screens. So today we're going to look at a protection system. We got the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit system and the Spigen Glaster Slim. Now uh, this is the screen protection glass and this is the camera lens protection glass. So you guys come on in here a little closer and we're going to open these up, go over them, install them, and then it can start using them. Okay, like I said, we're in the middle of doing this review on these Ghost Tech products, the Atomic Slim 3 and the Nautical 2. I'm using the Nautical 2. So far, I like it. It has full screen protection and lens protection on your cameras. But Nana's not using that. She's using the Atomic Slim, and it has no screen protection, no cam camera protection. So we're going to be using this Blaster Easy Fit system by Spigen to protect the glass on the front of her screen. And then we're going to be using the Spigen Glaster Slim to protect the lenses on her camera. Let's start with this easy fit system. So the box says here, easy installation. It's an oleophobic coating, and I'm not 100% sure what that is, but my guess is it's like uh, protection against finger smudges, or uh, if you got an oily face and you hold the thing up to your face, it's gonna kind of be resistant to those oils, skin oils, would be my guess. It says it's made out of real glass, and it has a surface hardness of 9H. So a surface hard hardness of 9H, that's, that's pretty hard. A diamond surface would be a 10, so it's supposed to be right under a 10. In the case, it says we have the Steinheil Gloss TR Easy Fit Screen Protector, a cleaner, a manual dust remover sticker, and a microfiber. So let's open this thing up and see what we got in it. If that's what we got in it, should be. So this is a two pack. I guess so if you mess up once, you can replace it or you can do two phones. And I think this cost about 12 bucks, something like that, which is a pretty good deal. Seems like you're getting two protectors. Comes with the lens cleaning lens cleaning wipe and it looks like a micro little microfiber in there and some stickers dust removal stickers comes with a little instruction sheet and then there's another instruction sheet for the second tray and then a little squeegee to, to get out any earbuds so we only need one of these so this is pretty nice setup it helps you align everything so I know that's a problem that I always have when I'm putting these screen protectors on is getting everything lined up just right. So I imagine to put this on, we're going to have to pull this out of the case so it'll fit in there because it ain't going to fit around the case. So let's do that. Okay, so we got this out. Now it should line up and you'll see in here, there's arrows on instructions or on the, on the, on the case protector. There's arrows there to show you how everything's supposed to line up. And when you get ready to put it on, it just fits right in there just like that. So that everything is lined up perfectly, which is pretty cool. I like that. So the instructions here says to use a cleaning wipe to clean everything. And then you'll pull the backer film off. Right here it says backer film. That's over the glass. You'll pull that off. And then let me turn this around so you guys can see. So it'll be your way, your way. So it'll be, so it'll be pointed, in, I guess, so you can see it right side up. So we'll pull the backer off, and then when we have the backer off, we'll just lay it right on just like that. And then we will use our finger and we'll press and slide. And it says to wait 30 seconds. So once you press and slide, you'll push the glass against the glass on the phone. And then you'll wait 30 seconds. And then you'll pull the whole sticker off first. So this sticker here, pull that off. And then you'll remove the tray, the glass tray. Remove the glass tray, and then there's another protector film that will be on the, on the glass that's on here. You'll pull that protector off, and then you'll squeegee this thing. Sounds pretty straightforward, so let's do it. Okay, so you got the lens cleaner, wipes, we'll need one of those, then the microfiber, and then a dust removal sticker. Basically, once you wipe this down with your lens cleaner, you get it all cleaned up, 
If you have see a speck of dust on there, you'll use your little sticker here and you'll just kind of dab it to get any dust off there. Okay, now I don't see any dust specks, so that's good. So now we'll peel the backer off our glass. Peel the backer off our glass. Now we'll just set the tray down on the foam, like so. You can see, uh, you probably can't see on there, but I can see on here, little air bubbles that will be between the glass and the foam glass, so the, the glass screen protector and the foam glass. Okay, so we got that down. Now we'll wait 30 seconds. Okay, so that's been about 30 seconds. Now we'll pull the sticker off. Interesting. Not the whole air bubble there, but we'll get that out in a minute. So we'll pull the sticker off. Now we'll pull the frame off. And I don't know if you guys can see the little air bubbles. Now it says to pull the plastic off, I guess, before you do the air bubbles, but... Okay. Looks like we got the air bubbles out of there, so let's pull off this cover. All right, there we go. Looks like all the bubbles are out. Looks pretty nice, nice clean fit in the middle of the screen. So that is the Spigen Glaster, Glass TR Glaster Easy Fit Screen Protector. So now that's on. So now we're gonna flip this thing over, shift gears, and look at the Spigen Glaster Slim to go over the camera lenses. So this is the same thing that says it is a whole transparency. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Whatever. It's made out of real glass, silicone adhesion, and it also has a 9H hardness. So let's see what we got in here. So here again, this was like uh, 12 bucks, 13 bucks. I think this was around 13 bucks. And of course, it's a once again, it's a two pack. So two pack. And inside you have a dust removal sticker and the two lens covers as well as the microfiber. So there doesn't seem to be any instructions in this one. Oh, there they are. They're in there. I got stuck behind the little tab. Okay, so the instruction. When foam case is mounted, it tells you what to do. Before installation, it says clean the area, wash your hands. Then you'll use a, a microfiber to clean off around your lenses. Okay, so you'll, you'll clean off around your lenses with the microfiber, and then you'll peel the, the backing off of the lens cover, lens protector. And it has, it says step one back, but actually this would be step two according to the instructions. So you'll pull that tab off, you'll stick it on there, you'll rub it down, and then there is a, another protector that is on this side. So you have one sticker side protector, and then you have one glass protector. And so you'll pull that off once you get it stuck on. So this seems pretty straightforward. Let's clean this off. And the same thing, you get the little dust stickers to, to get any dust particles off there. You don't want any dust particles on your camera lenses. So I don't see any necessarily, but I don't want to take any chances because I can't see very well on here. Okay, now you'll notice on here, you got the three cameras, so you got the three camera holes, your flash hole, and then this little sensor hole right there. So you want to make sure that you put this on the right direction. So you peel that off just like that, and this will go down just like that. Press that down, and you'll pull off this backer piece just like that. It is on. I'm just kind of wiping the dust off of there. We'll reinstall this into our phone case. The Atomic Slim should just fit just like that. So the glass covered, so the glass covered everything. The camera lens just like that looks good. All right, so we got it in. Now let's see if we can still access everything that we need to access here. Uh, we open a calculator. Can we pull it from the side? Yep, we can still pull it from the side. We can still get to notifications, news, notifications, control center. Get to other pages. Looks like everything's accessible. Now let's see what the camera looks like. Looks good. Everything still looks good. Let's look at the front facing camera. That looks good. So this uh, screen cover does not actually cover the front facing camera, so you're good to go there. Okay y'all, there we go. We got it put together. We got the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit installed and the Spigen Glaster Slim installed. I don't know. Hopefully you can't see it. That's the idea, right? But uh, you can see the glare, maybe a little glare. Pretty nice. And it's going to use this thing for 
a while, a week maybe, whatever, a couple days, and then we'll wrap this video up. Keep watching, and we're gonna let Nana test drive this thing, and then we'll let you know, like, right now. All right, y'all, we're gonna wrap this up. This is a wrap up for the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit, and the Glaster Slim, and I'm gonna tell you about the installation, I really like the installation of these things. They're easy to install and they centered up real well. And I, I like them. Well, let's see, we put it on Nana's phone. So let's see what Nana has to say about it. Nana, come on out here. Let's uh, see what you got to say about these. So the Glaster Easy Fit is the front screen protector. So what do you think about that? I love it. It does not get greasy. It doesn't get dusty. It's very easy to use. I don't have to struggle to do that emptying my windows thing. It's probably, of all the iPhone screen protectors I've had, it's my favorite one, hands down. Okay, what about, what do you think about the Glaster Slim on the lens? It's very much, much like the front. How much did you use your camera? I used it several times. Several um, times. As you can see, I just put a, a smudge mark on it, which I probably did that before when it didn't have a cover. I just tried to remember to wipe it off. But I think it's pretty good. It didn't seem to change the focus or anything of it. Yeah. Everything it's nice and clear, you can't see it, and that's the point, right? I can see clearly now. And it doesn't look like you've scratched anything. Nope. And I wasn't extra careful with it, so I treated it like I always do. So I would give it five stars out of five. Right. Absolutely. Right. And the price was great. You get two of each for $25, so can't beat that. Yeah. So we bought these off Amazon, so we're not getting a kickback from speaking or anything. And we will put links in the description for these if you're interested. And if you're not interested, hey, no problem. That's fine. Nana likes them, so that's all that matters to us, really. And you like the installation. And I like the installation. It was nice and easy and straightforward, which is cool because that little tray really lines it up on the on the foam, which is pretty awesome. And it didn't at all affect my case. It yeah. wasn't. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about the case and the screen working together being two different companies. Yeah, that's true. They work together good. Hey y'all, we appreciate y'all watching our video and hopefully this helps you out. If you're looking for a screen protection system, the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit, it's a good deal. Price is right. You know, you get two pack, each one's a two pack. And so if something happens, you know, if you break, break one, well, you got a backup right there. So hopefully this helps you out. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you can give us a thumbs down too. That's fine, I understand. Not everybody's into the same thing. Leave us a comment though, good, bad, and different comment, constructive criticism, maybe some experiences that you've had with different types of screen protection systems that could help other people that are watching this video. Leave some comments about that kind of stuff. Check us out on our social media, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Living Cooper, and check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. Last but not least, subscribe. We appreciate the subscriptions. Check out our other videos. We'll see you guys next time. Keep watching.